Thanks for joining me today to paint some balloons in watercolour. I've got three tubes, yellow, blue and red, so I'm going to be painting with the three primaries. I've got three brushes, two jars of water and some watercolour papers. Holbein's permanent yellow, lemon, yellow, and I'm going to squeeze out some peacock blue, 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 quinacridone magenta. I love magenta. It's like the most beautiful pink-ish, reddish colour that you could uh, have. So I've got those colours all ready and I've got some Canson watercolour paper. It's 300 GSM. I like to run my fingers over the tape to ensure that it's in good contact with the paper and then hopefully I get a really lovely uh, border. Wet my brush, grab a bit of that yellow, make it lovely and watery and then I'm going to get even more water and make a really pale batch of yellow. It's kind of, you know, round and then at the bottom it comes down to a point. I'm going to add the little uh, detailed tie in a moment but while it's lovely and wet grab my next brush and grab a hint of that magenta and drop it into the side. Um, I'm going to make this section here on that balloon even lighter by getting another brush, a flat brush this time, a little bit of water, remove the excess water and just Pick up a little bit of that yellow, wash it off. Pick up a little bit of that yellow, wash it off. Pick up a little bit of that yellow. And then I've got this beautiful highlight that I've created. And then I'll come in with a little uh, tiny liner brush and grab some of the yellow and create a little knobbly bit and give it the hint of pink. That was actually a bit too much pink. I wanted an absolute hint. So I'm just going to take it some of that out. Just so that out, some of it out. Right, lovely. So now I'm going to do one in magenta. So I'll get rid of the yellow off my brush. Get my brush. Grab some of that magenta, make a little dark batch over here, move to the next well, really watery batch, and paint my next balloon. I'm filling in one side before I move to the other side, then I'm going to fill in. A little bit wonky, so I'm just going to correct it while I'm there. Come down to a bit of a point. And again, while it's lovely and wet, grab my brush and a little bit of that blue, watery. Give it a hint of blue, absolute dusting. Little hint over there. And then give it a highlight. There's my flat brush, wash it off. I'm wiping it on the towel and then I'm going to go highlight towel. Clean it off, highlight, clean it off, oh, clean it off. I don't want to introduce water, I'm just taking water, some of the paint off. Okay, and I've got my second balloon, go back to my little tiny liner brush and paint the little base of it here, that little knobbly bit. Oh, it's a bit watery. So I'm going to suck some up with my brush, turn it to a thirsty brush and suck it up just like a sponge and then the teensiest hint of blue in there. Okay, I'm going to do a third balloon and it's going to, um, the third balloon is going to be here. Well, maybe I'll make it over there and I will do maybe pink 
the pink, when I'm saying pink, I mean the magenta. Oh, it's a bit wonky. <laughs> Uh, but it doesn't matter. We're painting quick balloons today. Um, yeah, it might go over there. Right. And blue this time. So I'll clean my brush. I'm going to make a deep blue over here. And transfer that some into here. Grab a stack of water. And make a light blue. And then I'm going to put one over here so I'll go off the page and there's my balloon shape but if you do the outside lines you have to paint so fast and it's actually easier with balloons to not draw it first I'm now not bound to that exact shape and come down and while it's lovely and wet I'll drop the um, I can't remember what's on that brush I'm just going to grab a piece of paper a bit of um, pinky purple I'll get rid of that into that balloon I'm going to grab some magenta drop it in there drop it in there and create a highlight same flat brush wet it off dry it on my towel really dry it and remove and remove and remove i'm just quickly taking off a highlight and then grab the little tiny brush and create the little knobbly bits a little too wet i'm going to suck up that water again suck it up and go back and i might do this slightly darker blue because it's nice and wet there And the tinsiest hint of pink into that okay I've got three balloons now and they're um, the perfect subject matter for watercolor because they're light and transparent and really really beautiful I'm gonna let that dry and then over the top of those balloons I'm going to put in some more balloons all of the strings I might leave till the very end and um, then I can decide where the strings are going to go and whether or not you see them. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry. Okay, it's really dry and um, you can tell that uh, by touching it to see how dry it is, but it's also a really warm day and uh, the fan is on, so um, it's drying quite uh, quickly. I'm going to be adding another three balloons. I'm going to add one here and then the string will go down, one here and the string will come down and maybe one there or maybe one up really high but I'm going to put this one in first and then decide. So I'm going back to this larger uh, quill brush and um, I think I'll do a yellow one on top of the uh, magenta and blue. So I've got this lovely batch of watery yellow and I'm going to go over this one like that over 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 and then like that and create a balloon shape comes down to a point just fix that side of it and then come in with a little bit of blue I think a little bit of blue and I might do it on now nah, I'll be consistent Put the blue there and then grab my flat brush clean it off and take off a highlight take off a highlight now I don't really like how this hasn't moved particularly so I'm going to move it around a little it's taking a little bit of paint off unfortunately but um, that's a lovely transparent one over the top and then with my little tiny brush give it its little knobby bit on the bottom and a hint of blue into that just a hint clean that one ready for the next painting I'll clean my brush again because the next one I think will be here so I might make it blue I've got my big batch of pale blue and I'm going to paint it maybe 
there. Come down and just touch that one. Round, round, round. Give it a little bit of a point. Straight in with the next colour. Uh, I think I'll do yellow on blue. Grab the pale yellow and whisk it in. A bit of pale yellow there. There's my flat brush to remove the highlight. Put it on the towel. Remove the highlight. Remove the highlight. You might give it a little more highlight. And then I'll do the little knobby bit. Um, Little knobby bit has a little bit of blue. Oops, a bit more blue. Blue knob, and I'm going to give it a hint of yellow into the little knobby bit. Okay, I've got five. Yeah, I don't think it needs a six balloon. I'm just going to go straight in with my strings now. So I'm going to do a string. It has to come from a little tie and down, a little tie and down. That one's too wet to paint on. That one, I'm going to make the string appear from outside. This string will come down the centre and this one will come down the centre. So I can do this one because that's um, certainly dry there and I can do this one because that's dry. Uh, so I might make all the strings um, maybe I'll make them purple. I might mix a purple. Put some magenta in the centre, some darker magenta in the centre, and pick up some of the darker blue. And then I've got a purple, and I'm going to create a little tie, and then imagine that the tie comes down like that. Next one, create a little tie, and then imagine that the tie comes down like that. So there'd be another side to the tie, it would go off like that. So I'll just go off like that. I'm going to try and just vary them. That one go up. This one, I can put in that one. A little bit of a tie. Oh, I love that that purple's travelling like that. And then I'm going to come down in this centre. Oh no, I totally dropped my brush. I just made a mistake. So if you make a mistake, what you do is you get a, a brush full of clean water and wash it off. And then I'm going to quickly dab it with a uh, clean tissue. I'll just do it once more. Get some more of the paint off. Just getting it all off. That might be as much as I can get off because it's got blue and um, magenta and the blue is probably a stainer. Uh, but it's 90% gone so that will do. Oh no it's not, there's this one here. <laughs> I'm going to invent a, a string tag that goes off and joins that. Then that the string will go that way and I'll make the tag go into that one there. I could try and get it off, um, but I think I can turn it into a happy accident. Right, purple. Now, what I wanted to do was move my hand further up so that I grab a... I was going to say grab a string, but what I was doing was a fast line. And now I'll do this one little bit of a tie and then I, I'm going to make it come down to here. I'm holding my hand right up the top of the handle down to there and then I'm going to make the rest of the tie come along and do that. And hopefully it's not as noticeable anymore. And then I've just got this one here. Now if I paint over that wet uh, surface and it's slightly damp then it will be all fuzzy 
and um, because it will slightly be moistened by hitting the wet um, paper. I think I might just see whether or not that makes it quite lovely. Let's see. Bit of a tie and, oops, <laughs> I need it still, no. Ah, uh, totally stuffed that one. Anyway, uh, there's a the little tie. This one gets a little tie. Go into there. And this um, balloon with its, that's tilted to the side is really drawing my eye because the others are all quite um, upright and this one's slightly to the side. So that's quite good to make it a little bit different to the other balloons. I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to sign it and I'm going to sign it with that lovely purple. Marion Chapman. And I'm done. Five balloons, nice and fast. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, please like the video if you got anything out of it. I'd love to hear from you.